good evening. My name is Kapela Lutuli. I'm the acting DDG for the branch corporate services for the Department of Education in the Eastern Cape. Uh, yesterday and today, the top management of the province gathered uh, in Port Alfred to review or conduct a diagnostic review of the education system transformation plan of 2019 until 2024. Uh, in terms of the ESTP, as this referred to, it sets out a map of what the department intends doing over, uh, over the period of five years. Now that period of five years has since expired and then we have to conduct a review and analyze whether what was set out in that particular document was it achieved or not achieved. And also assess the overall system and organization whether in terms of the key deliverables was the department able to achieve on the educational outcomes. What we can witness in terms of the ESTP is that the department over the period of five years, it has witnessed the upward trajectory of educational outcomes with the latest uh, results of the class of 2023 achieving 81.4%. Now, one can deduce that the department was able to deliver successful on this key mandate. However, there are still some areas of concern internally which requires attention from the department. Uh, currently, we have looked at organization in terms of its business model in supporting schools as well as districts. We've picked up that the department still needs to work very hard in ensuring that uh, it focuses more on uh, focus schools as well as other areas such as our current schools, uh, Ocean's Economy as pronounced by the Presidency as well as the Provincial uh, Government of the Eastern Cape. Those were the areas which were identified as the economic leverages for the province. Uh, when we were conducting the, the review, we also discovered that the department is over-centralized in terms of autonomy, with the district having limited autonomy on matters that belong to districts. However, the, the top management uh, today agreed that there is a need for the department to delegate and decentralize certain functions there to districts to allow service delivery to move smoothly at that operational level. And also to capacitate our districts to be able to run and deliver services to the citizens of this province. Uh, it is important also that we help to allow service delivery to move smoothly at that operational level and also to capacitate our districts to be able to run and deliver services to the citizens of this province. Uh, it is important also that we have to ask difficult questions uh, in so far as what needs to be done in preparation for the servant administration and also assist the system to move forward, not for it to be stagnant. Uh, I think as you know, that is the purpose of the day uh, when we have actually uh, came to Mpegoni to deal with those issues. So I'm not even caught out for it, yeah. Right, thank you very much, um, Mr. Lutuli. What were the key takeaways from the retreat and how will they be implemented? Uh, in terms of the implementation plan, the department has submitted its annual performance plan to the relevant bodies, including the treasurer as well as the provincial legislature. However, because 2024 is the year of election, we are waiting for the new administration for it to be endorsed and signed off, and ultimately the MEC would be mandated to present the policy speech to the province wherein the commitments will be made as to what is that the department will be doing for the year 24-25 financial year. Thank you. Thank you very much. So how will the department ensure teamwork and collaboration among employees to achieve strategic object objectives? Sorry. 
the department has identified uh, that there is a need of, of, of collaboration internally with an overall objective of ensuring that we eliminate duplication of services whilst ensuring that uh, resource allocation are utilized effectively and efficiently. In terms of the teamwork, uh, we are of the view that as we move for ASHA in the new administration, there is a need for the department to embark on orientation and reorientation of the workforce to ensure that they buy to the vision of the department so that it becomes easy to implement all the strategies of the department as a collective. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. One last question. How will the department measure success? Uh, in terms of government uh, acceptable standards, all departments are, are, are actually expected to have what we call annual performance plans. Annual performance plans set out targets that must be achieved by the departments. So as the education department has developed its own document around annual performance plan, which sets out all the targets that must be achieved for the year 2024 25 based on the available resources. Uh, thank you. Right, we have our DDG. Um, sir, um, what is your vision for the future of education in our province and how do you see our department playing a role in achieving it? Uh, for the last two days, we had met as a department uh, to look at our achievements over the past five years, uh, focusing on the four pillars that we adopted in 2016. And we also looked at the current context and challenges, uh, looking at what the new developments are becoming on us as a department. The first one is the technological innovation and technological developments. And we looked at the landscape and we are trying to align the schooling of the province uh, to the new technological advances and developments. And uh, therefore, what it actually says, we looked at it, the landscape of our technical occupational schools, uh, our technical vocational schools, as well as schools of skills, just trying to find a way in which we can modernize. The call for everybody in the Southern African region is an education system that will allow our children to derive value from being educated, which means children who can become uh, universal citizens who can work within a technologically sound environment. How will you lead and manage a department to achieve our strategic goals and what leadership development opportunities will be provided to the staff? We are looking at four areas uh, in order to achieve uh, the objectives. The first one is building capacity of the department, the entire capacity uh, from school level up to head office level. We have a commission that is specifically focusing on capacity building. Capacity relates to technical skills, professional skills, as well as strategic capabilities of every layer of leadership in the department, your school principals, what get, what they can do, uh, your circuit managers, your district directors, as well as head of staff. So that's the first one. The second one is to look at the opportunities that Eastern Cape Province is presenting to us as a department, particularly aligning our curriculum to economic development opportunities. There are very specific sectors that we have identified which are very critical and crucial for this kind of work we're doing. The first one is the maritime environment. As you know that uh, Eastern Cape is based on a coastline economy and therefore oceans economy has become a big aspect of our curriculum thinking. The second one is the importance of the dominance of the auto sector uh, in Eastern Cape, particularly looking at technical education, coding and robotics, in alignment with the industry. Uh, on the western side, we have VW, as well as Ford Motor Company. Uh, on the eastern seaboard, you have Mercedes-Benz of South Africa. So, but also have the auto part components that deal with supply of, of auto components. And all of this together is providing us with an opportunity to relook really at how we align with industrial research industry developments together with our technical vocational education. 
So this is where we are in terms of uh, the current thinking and planning as we try to find a way of building a better education for this thinking. Thank you so much.